always had great respect for the game. And I, I would be lying to you if I told you I didn't ever envision myself being on that mound and, you know, competing against the best players in the world. And so, you know, for it to come true is a truly exciting opportunity for me. It wasn't too long ago we were watching a young whippersnapper by the name of Shane McClanahan doing work on the campus of USF, but in four short years, look at where this guy is. Standing on the bump at Dodger Stadium, throwing the first pitch for the American League team. Look at the smile on his face. That's what it's all about. He couldn't help himself. What's interesting about this photo is that it was taken at the end of his outing, an outing which didn't go too well because he gave up two runs and four hits in one frame. So if Shane needs a pick-me-up, let me showcase some other tremendous talents having a tough start in the Midsummer Classic. Funny enough, Justin Verlander, who was his competition for this honor, got rocked in 2012 to the tune of five runs a decade ago. As for some others, 30 years ago, Tom Glavin got roasted in less than two innings, giving up nine hits and five runs. Even Nolan Ryan had a stinker, so no shame for Shane. In fact, the stank wore off in the fourth because Dodgers pitcher Tony Gonsolin gave up two moonshots to the AL squad. First, Giancarlo Stanton hits one nearly 460 feet. Then Byron Buxton goes yard in the very next at bat. The AL is holding on to a 3-2 lead, and if they can close it out, it will be their ninth straight victory over the National League. Plant Products' Pete Alonzo and Kyle Tucker did not get a hit in any of their at-bats tonight.